What's up guys, my name is Jay and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a multilingual WordPress site in just minutes, okay? Now I'm here in WPML.org which is the main website for the plugin that I use and I think it's the best plugin for this out there. It's not free but is the best, sorry, okay? So I'm going to go here to my dashboard uh, I already installed my plugin and uh, I'm sorry let's go back there you can see we have a tab of WPML right here and then after you install the plugin you have to set up a couple things okay now here you have a couple options uh, they here you can choose your main uh, language you can add all the language that you need I have only two English and Spanish Okay, you have here more options, widgets, they give you a PHP code so you can add like a drop down for your theme. Um, they give you options to add this little switcher to your main navigation, to your footer. So we're going to get back here in a minute because I need to do that. But first, I need to translate my homepage. Okay, so right now my homepage looking like this. I have a dummy text in English right now and I want one in Spanish right so I'm gonna go to my pages let's go there all right so I'm gonna go to home page and as you can see we have a plus sign right here and it says add translation to Spanish and you can say there is a Spanish flag here so I'm gonna click there to that plus sign and now we have an empty page which is saying here that is uh, language of this page is Spanish. This is the translation of the home page and you can copy the content from the English page or overwrite with the English content. I am not going to do it. I'm just going to go right there and write everything by myself. So this is how you call home on Spanish. I think if I'm wrong, please let me know on the comments. And I have here a... Uh, text generator so here I have my Spanish and I'm just gonna copy everything and I'm gonna paste it right here all right and I'm done so I'm gonna publish this page all right and before I do anything right now I need to set up my menu because now I have two menus one in Spanish and one in English all right so I don't want to confuse you because sometimes you go to the Spanish page and you don't have menu and it's like confusing it's because you need to create the Spanish menu so we're gonna just create a new one here let's say Spanish menu for example language Spanish and this is the translation of the main menu which is the one in English okay create menu and now I wanna add this one that I already created and I'm gonna add it to the menu, which is the home page. And I'm gonna click Save Menu. Now you can see that we have both menus created, one in English and one in Spanish. And uh, we only have one page created, so we can only add one page to this menu. But if we go to the English, you can see that we have more pages created, so we can add more to our English menu. Now. I want to make sure that my reading uh, static homepage is set up. Sometimes it, you know, is go to his default state, as you can see right here. So I'm gonna select static page, and my front page is my home, and I'm gonna save changes. Make sure you do that, or you're gonna get very confused when you go to your homepage, and you will see that is the blog page or something else. Now I'm gonna go to my WPML languages options because I want to add that lit that little drop down switcher. Let's let's scroll down a little bit here. And in here I'm gonna click here display the language switcher on my WordPress menu and I'm gonna select the main menu. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here and I'm gonna click save. All right, now I want to click on visit site because I want to see how it's... All right, so it's looking great. I have here my uh, drop down with my Spanish option. I'm going to click there. 
And as you can see, we have our um, homepage in Spanish. Awesome. And you can see that we only have one page because remember, we only have one in the menu. It's the only page that we, trans we have translated and it's the only one that we can add on our Spanish uh, menu. So I'm gonna go back to English and you can see we have all the options here and it's just because that you need to translate uh, all the pages and then go to your menu and add them to the Spanish menu. All right, now I'm going to show you how to add a switcher right in the widgets and how you, how you can add it to your PHP code. If you know how to develop or design themes and stuff like that, you can use it. All right, so let's go back here and we are going to scroll a little bit here and you can see here that we have here a PHP code that you can insert in your theme. All right, so we're gonna copy this and I'm gonna open my text editor. I have here my header.php of that theme and I'm gonna add this code. I don't know where really. I don't know where, let's just drop it right here. Just, just a random, Let, let's see if it shows. Uh, I, I don't know. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. So we got it right here. Of course, uh, I don't want it there. Maybe somewhere around here, maybe on the top. Uh, I, I don't know if you know, if you had the skills, if you know a little bit of PHP and you can do it, you can do something very awesome. So I just drop it right here. I can click there. And as you can see, it's the same thing. It's going to the Spanish. It's a Spanish, Espanol. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to add it in the widget, which is super easy. You can do it in you know, like one minute. So let's go to Appearance, Widgets, and let's scroll down a little bit. And here you got it, Language Selector. I'm just gonna drag it all the way up here. And let's see how it looks. Here you go. We got the same thing in the widgets, which is looking real good, better than here in this corner. I think this is the best option, and this is a great option too to add it to the to the main menu. If you have if you have some CSS knowledge, you can maybe uh, change the color or or something else. Um, but yeah, this this is this is how it is. This is how you translate every page of your WordPress website. Of course, this is not the only thing you can do with this plugin. This plugin have a ton of options. Even you can translate the code, the PHP code, everything that comes with the theme, you can translate, okay? All right, so that's it, guys. I hope this helps. And if you have questions, comment below. But thank you for watching, okay? See you next week. Bye.